Hey guys, this is Mary from the car. Mary, I wanted to add a little bit to this video and say that while I was on my sick leave, we'll call it sick leave, we reached 75K. That's awesome and I really, I thank you guys so much and I'm sorry if this is shaky but I'm just holding my camera because I have five minutes to do this and I actually have makeup on. <laughs> so anyway, I thank everybody so much, each and every one of you. It's, it's awesome. Never thought that I would reach 75K. Let's keep going, right? I now have been allowed to go back to work. Finally allowed to go back to work. And um, I'm resuming my, my video uploads and well, hopefully up the uploads the way I used to do them. I'm hoping to be able to do two a week again, but um, there might be some weeks when you just get one. And if you get one, it's probably gonna be on a Monday. But check in on Fridays also, because if I have a chance to do two, I will upload two. I like to do two, I like to have that schedule, but um, I'm gonna have some more therapies and things going on and I'm not always gonna have time to film two. So, because I have those two days a week to, to, to film, Mondays and Tuesdays, but I have a lot of appointments that I'm trying to squeeze in there too. So, if I'm not able to do two a week, on a particular week, check in the next week. That's my goal, two a week, but potentially one a week for, for a little while now. So, anyway, so thank you again for 75K, and I hope you like this video. Okay, so let's get started with this tutorial. And for this 75K tutorial, I wanted to go with gold, of course, because that's what I do. Something pink and something buttercream. I've had a lot of requests for more buttercream and uh, take a little break from the fondant. So I thought on this cake, I would do that for you. So let's get it started. So first of all, this is my little aid for my topper that I made. I purchased that um, plexiglass little topper at um, Hobby Lobby and what I'm gonna do is roll out some fondant and place that on top of it for our decoration for our topper so I left that a little thicker because I'm using this texturized um, roller now this is we have this at the bakery I don't know if I'm gonna find this exact same roller but you can find similar things on Amazon and on Etsy also and any pattern will do. You don't even have to do a pattern, but I decided to do this. So I rolled it out and I cut out my seven, five, and my K. I'm just using straight fondant. I didn't add anything to it. And I'm attaching all of this with some piping gel. Just cover your, your um, disc, your topper plastic disc with some piping gel and go ahead and stick your details on here. And I'm gonna say, I made this the day before and you will see that the finished product is different. But guess what happened? We have a mouse. <laughs> that stupid little mouse <laughs> found my topper and ate part of it, so I had to redo it. But that's okay, this is basically how I did it. And I'm just using some uh, of my gold luster dust with, my, with some Everclear, made a paint out of it, and I'm just using it in a small painting brush to cover the seven, seven five k and k and i'm just highlighting some of the floral detail that this uh, roller creates in your fondant just to get it to stand out a little bit i use a finer brush to do this for more details and for this first version i added some gold drages in the final version i did not because the placement i liked better in the final one and I didn't think I needed some extra gold on there so I did not and I'm gonna use my plexiglass disc to you put the buttercream on this top tier reason being that I wanted it to have very um, level sides because with a stencil it's easier to get the stencil to work especially this one and fine detailed ones if your surface is completely the surface is completely flat and I find the best way to do that is just to go ahead and use the plexiglass discs. And you'll see that I attached the bottom with a little roll of tape, added some buttercream on the top, used my, um, my parchment circle, the same size as the cake. This is a six inch cake. Put that on top of the buttercream after I leveled it, put a little bit of buttercream on the disc to place on the top to get it to hold still. And then I'm just filling in between with my buttercream. Now I did use my scraper on the side there before I added the buttercream to make sure, hold it up in between the two discs and eyeball to make sure that it is level before you add that buttercream. And also, and on this tier, I just did it the normal way. 
So I will explain more the top tier here. Put it in your freezer to set up after you do that first coat. Now don't worry about getting it perfect because I like to do this in layers. Put your first coat on, put it in your freezer, let it firm up, and then go back, as I'm doing here, and add more and fill in any gaps or holes. I think I did this three times just to get the perfect um, finish. And just keep going until you get it all removed, all the excess. Your um, scraper will get down to the plexiglass disc and that's how you know that you are level top and bottom. Now I'm using a very thin um, spatula. This is actually a painting palette knife to remove that bottom. I have this upside down, remove the bottom disc, added some more of that, uh, that tape to the cake board, flip it upside down and remove the top the same way and take your parchment out of there and go back in and fill in with your buttercream where you're gonna have some uneven spots. It always happens. And this did end up a little cattywampus. I'm not sure if it wasn't level in the freezer. It kind of leaned on me a little bit. So I'm spending a lot of time here trying to get at least the top surface visibly to look level. Sometimes if you can't fix a lean, you can go for optical illusion. What you Go for what you can fix and then find the front. There's always a front to a cake, always a back. And then for my topper, I did not go into a lot of detail on how I'm making these fans because I have another video tutorial on how to do these. And I will make a link um, in the description and I'll try to attach a, a card in the video at this point or somewhere along the point where I'm making this, this uh, fan so that you can watch more detailed how to make this. And I made two of these and I thought it was a little wide on the side. So I went back in and cut it down a little bit. And I did it two times, and what I'm doing here is I'm cutting them in half. It's a little easier to attach them when they're cut in half. And attach the two pieces together with some hot glue. Put your skewer in there with hot glue, and cut your little strips and attach that around the bottom to anchor the entire thing together. And kind of spread out the fans, and there you have your fans. That's just crafting paper. I would go for a thinner, not real thin, but don't go for really thick cardstock paper because that's gonna be really hard to fold that tightly. And then for the buttercream bottom, this kind of goes back to my days mm, about eight years ago, 10 years ago, when I did a lot of wedding cakes with buttercream and add some texture to the bottom. These are buttercream rosettes. I used a 1M tip and I lost, of course, I have to lose footage in every tutor tutorial, do I not? And what I lost was, how to go in and add those filler, that filler buttercream, and it's the same tip and everything. I just piped stars in between the rosettes, and it gives you a really neat differentiating kind of texture. It makes it more interesting. And then I placed that in the refrigerator to set up while I did my stencil. And this stencil I knew was gonna be way too wide for what I needed for the size of my six inch cake. And that bottom tier was a seven inch. And I believe I did four layers of cake in each of those. I have had requests to say how many layers and what size the cake is. So there you have it. And then I just used some painter's tape to block off the parts of the stencil that I did not want. And then since this is a longer stencil, I could use uh, the tape in the back to um, hold it in place as I applied the buttercream. Now this is a very humid day. If you can see outside, I had some boo-boos in this cake. And you, if you've been following me for a while, you know I admit to it. It was very humid that day, and my refrigerator would not dry out. So I was working very quickly to do this part because I did not want the stencil to stick to the buttercream. Typically, with my residential fridges that I like to use when I'm doing these things, that prevents the humidity. But there was no helping it this day. I even had a dehumidifier in the room where the refrigerator is, and it did not help. So I moved quickly, and I did not remove enough of the buttercream on top of the stencil. So a lot of that buttercream came off, a lot of that stencil came off. So what I did was I went in with my gold luster dust and my Everclear, and I just used a fine tipped paintbrush and painted it on. Filled in in the spots where the buttercream did not stick. So frustrating, but you know what? This goes to show you that even without, doesn't matter how much experience you have, Things don't always work out perfect. It's how you fix it. It's what you do with it. And you gotta realize that 
Customers are not going to look at these these little things. They're not going to know it. They're not going to know that your stencil did not work out the way you planned it. Just go back in and make the design cohesive. Where those spots are missing, put some of your gold paint. And then where there were some straight lines that I had a hard time getting. I can't, I'm not good at painting straight lines. I will admit that. So I decided to go back in with some gold dragees and put those where those lines would be. And when I was done, I decided I liked it better. I think it added an extra dimension that it would have been real flat without. And then I added it in between those diamonds to make it look like, you know, the chain. Like it's a string of crystals, gold crystals. And I think it turned out really well. And to be honest, I was very frustrated. I'll admit I was very frustrated. Um, But I just took the time to change it. And look, it turned out really pretty. So then take your bottom tier out. And I had cut these straws to the height of the cake. And I'm just pushing them down into the cake. In this, I used a star cutter, like a star cookie cutter. And I press that into the top. And then that shows me the five points where my straws will go. And I like to lift those straws up a little bit so that when I place the tier on top, which has been in the freezer, that's why I can touch it. A little bit, like I said, still, you know, some condensation. So touch it as minimally as you can. And the weight of the cake with a little coaxing pushed it down. And since these are tall tiers, I used a wooden dowel through the middle of both of them. Just to anchor it in place. These tall tiers can be a little bit more of a... um, They almost feel top heavy. So they're tall and thin. So I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Not that anybody got this cake. It just went back in the fridge. But, you know. Just to show you what you can do. And then I used that star tip, that 1M, and filled in the gap in between the two tiers. And that's the same technique I used in between the buttercream rosettes. And then I just went in with some artificial flowers. Pink was obviously my mood this day. (laughs) And just stuck with kind of a monochromatic monochromatic color scheme with some pops of gold. And just kind of eyeball where you want them to go. You can place some buttercream underneath your flowers to hold them in place these are silk and if you you do this for a customer and you want to wrap those stems you can wrap them with some floral tape or even put straws in your cake and place the flowers inside of the straws i just find it for me that doesn't work so well because they're still kind of wobbly they're not as secure i like to just go ahead and wrap those stems if these are for an order to me that's just what i like to do and then placed my other flag or other flag I'm sorry other fan at the bottom to balance out that gold have them caddy corner like that flowers and your fans caddy corner from your each other kind of ties it all together and here is the finished product I think she's gorgeous and I hope you liked it too and seriously guys thank you so 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 much for 75k and we will do much more So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.